to do a quick cage tour of this little thing I set up today for my new tour. Here's the mochi. Say hi, mochi. So I set this cage up today. Um, it was only about uh, $25 for the cage to get started. So I'm going to walk you through how I did it. First off, the cage is a 34 by 18 inch uh, clear bin, as you can see. Um, I have a lid which I drilled some holes into. Now in the cage, starting from this side, I piled up a bunch of bedding and I put in a glass jar. I believe it was a pasta jar that I got from Costco. There he goes. Uh, as you can see, he loves to hide in it. It's nice and dark. You can also burrow around it. In this side of the cage, I'm using Katie Expanding, um, the Expanding Soft bedding, the kind of paper bedding. But on this other side, I'm actually using a mix of two different ones. This is the Soft Granulite bedding that is also by Katie. So I just like to give him, this is fun to kind of mess around in, but it doesn't really hold shape. <clears throat> Whereas this one, you can kind of dig tunnels in. Next, you'll see his little hamster dust bath over there, very fine granulates. This gives him two little layers to hang out on and a lot of space to dig, as you can see, to hide the whole um, pasta jar. It's a lot of bedding, which is nice. Here in the middle, I Velcroed on his water bottle. So that's just at a nice height for him with the bedding here. I can also kind of adjust the height. So the back, um, I have it going straight. And then on the water bottle itself, I have it going sideways. So this is just a mini igloo that I bought at the pet store. Um, it was too small for my rats, so I'm using it for the dwarf hamster, and of course it is nice and roomy for him. It's great, he just loves to use things as soon as I start talking about it, it's amazing. <laughs> and finally at this edge I have his running wheel, which is kind of a larger size. It's for, you know, a larger Syrian hamster, maybe a small rat. So it, he just has a lot of room to run in there and he loves it. And next to that, I'm going to get something for this later, but for now I have his food on the little platter that came with his dust bath. So I'm just using the container that I bought the dust bath in and also reusing that lid over here as some food. So there you have it. That is the overview of my basic dwarf hamster enclosure that cost me all around $30 um, brand new. If you found this video helpful, please give me a thumbs up or leave any other comments or thoughts below. Thanks for watching.